Her daughter was hit by an SUV and killed outside her middle school while using the crosswalk. The 12-year-old's death prompted city leaders to take action. The Albuquerque mother is glad they're making changes, but still plans to file a lawsuit. News 13's Marissa Lucetto is live outside Cleveland Middle School with the details. Marissa. Dean, Jess, in less than two months, there will be a completely new crosswalk signal here. And while the family says that is a positive change, they say it shouldn't have cost their daughter her life. What I'm being told is it's just a tragic accident. A tragic accident. That's what APD called it hours after 12-year-old Eliza Justine Almuina was killed crossing the street in front of Cleveland Middle School back in March. She was in the crosswalk and according to police, the driver who hit Almuina didn't see her. Days after her death, city leaders called for immediate change. This is a tragedy that should never happen. In the weeks that followed, the city put together a task force. Inventorying all the crosswalks, seeing what improvements they do have and which ones don't, seeing which ones need improvement. City councilors also acted fast, passing an ordinance requiring a specialized signal be installed at the Louisiana crosswalk. It certainly is indication that in improvements were needed and um, could have been made beforehand. Jolene Youngers is the attorney representing Amwina's mother. She sent two letters last week, one to the city, the other to Albuquerque Public Schools, warning the two that the family is preparing to sue. What was the condition of the crosswalk? What was going on at the school. What did the school know or should have known about the presence of students in that crosswalk after hours? While Younger says the change is a step in the right direction, there are still a lot of unanswered questions. It's always unfortunate when it takes tragedy to get that change in motion. Uh, the city says the specialized signal here will cost anywhere from $300 to $400,000. They're also looking at installing them at other crosswalks near schools. Back to you. All right, thank you, Marissa. APD says the investigation into the crash is still ongoing. The city and APS both say they do not comment on pending litigation.